Hello and welcome to WP Forms. If you want to find a way to create a contact in HubSpot directly from your WordPress forms, you may think that the process would be super complicated. But integrating your contact form into HubSpot is actually a lot easier than it seems. I'm going to show you step by step how to automatically import contacts into HubSpot whenever someone fills out a form on your site. Without further ado, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we'll want to head over to the add ons page and activate the Zapier add on. The Zapier add on allows you to connect your forms to any of the over 2,000 apps available through their service, including HubSpot. Just note that you'll need to sign up for a Zapier account before you complete this tutorial. Once the add-on has been activated, we'll be ready to go into the form builder. We need to create our form first, and then submit a test entry before we can begin setting up our connection to HubSpot through Zapier. Using one of our pre-made templates helps you save valuable time, but you can always either create the form from scratch if you prefer, or customize the existing template by either adding in new fields by dragging them from the left over to the right, rearranging the order of the existing fields, or deleting them entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. I'm going to leave our simple contact form template as it is, click on the Save button, and then head into the dashboard, preview our form, and submit a test entry. The reason why I'm doing this is because you'll want to make sure you have at least one entry before you make your connection to HubSpot with Zapier. This test entry will be used to make sure that the connection is working properly before you go live. Now that the test entry has been submitted, we'll then head over to WP Forms, Settings, to find our Zapier API key. You can find this key under the Integrations tab, and be sure to keep this window open as we'll need this key in a few moments. Once we've located the API key, we can open up a new tab to go to Zapier, log into your account, and we can begin the connection process. Click on the button labeled, make a zap, and we'll be taken to the setup page. Within this first section, we'll choose our first app and event. In the search box, type WP Forms and click on it once it appears. Zapier will then display your trigger options under Trigger Event. WP Forms has only one trigger option, so we'll choose the New Form Entry option. You'll then need to choose your account. When you click on the Sign In to WP Forms button, an overlay will appear. This is where we'll need our API key that we found in the Integrations tab in the Settings page on our site. We'll quickly tab over, copy the key, and paste it into the API key field in the Zapier overlay. You'll then need to fill out the website field. Be sure to enter the full URL of your site. When you're done, click on Yes Continue, and your WP Forms account will now be connected to Zapier. You'll choose your newly connected account, click Continue, and be taken to the next step. You're going to select the specific form you'd like to use for this Zap. In our case, it'll be the simple contact form we just created. Our next step will allow you to pull data from the form you selected to test your connection. This is why we needed to submit at least one entry to our simple contact form before beginning this whole process. Click Test Trigger, and when the test is done, you should see the form entry data that you previously submitted. Afterwards, click Continue, and we'll move on to the second section. This is where we'll find and select the app that we'd like to connect our forms to. In this case, we're going to look for and select HubSpot. In the next step, select Create or Update a Contact as the action and click Continue. You'll then need to connect HubSpot to Zapier. Start by clicking Sign into HubSpot to sign into your account. Another overlay will appear where you'll select your HubSpot account and click on the Connect App button to give Zapier access to the following information. 
You'll then confirm the authorization by completing the reCAPTCHA, and Zapier will now have access and be connected to your HubSpot account. From there, click Continue. In this next section, we're going to map our form fields to the corresponding fields in HubSpot. This is why you need to make sure that you have at least one entry available in your form before you create this connection. When you're done, click Continue, and in the next section, we'll see a list of all of the available fields within HubSpot and which fields we map to our contact form. This is where we can either test and review the connection or test and continue. We'll go ahead and test and continue. If the test was successful, you should see a message letting you know that the contact was sent to HubSpot. You can now turn on your Zap and you're all set and ready to go. You've now successfully connected your site's contact form to your HubSpot account, which will automatically create a contact in your account each time someone fills out and submits the form on your site. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.